Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna vlog. It's the weekend. Isn't it Bowie? It's chaos up in here. You're gonna show them how you can stand and almost walk. It's very close. It's kind of like taking his first steps, but it's still early days. Anyway, it's Saturday morning and we actually have a swim class this morning as like a catch-up class. Um, so that's at 8am, which is unusual. And he is going into the next swimming level. So it's the first day of that. And yeah, it's the weekend. We actually don't have much planned for the weekend. It's probably be a pretty chill weekend, but I'll bring you guys along with us. Hey, man. That scared you. That scared you. That scared you. Oh. Oh. So this is new. We got this. The boy got this for his birthday from his auntie, and it means that we have to be extra careful about what we leave in the kitchen counter because, as you can see, we can reach it all. Did you want some water? Are you thirsty? Oh God, so cute. <laughs> we thirsty. What can you see? Is there a crane? <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> so I'm really organized this morning. My camera's dead, so I'm here vlogging on my iPhone. And we don't have time to have coffees in, so we have to quickly get them takeaway. And it is burning my hand extra hot. Oat cap, always delicious. But yeah, gotta get swimming, because we might be late for his first class. And you can't be late, not on dad's watch. Change your plans. We're not going to swimming because because someone did an accident in the pool, aka someone pooed in the pool. Not so Bowie. not Bowie. Not Bowie. We didn't quite get there. So we're change your plans. I'm gonna go to Brecky. There's a new cafe that opened up, and Alex wants to go there, even though it's gonna be so busy. I don't know about this decision. Damn, I was really looking forward to swim class because it's his first week in this new class and I can't come on Tuesday because we have a photo shoot booked for the wholesome store. I'm glad that they cancelled the class though because that is... Right. Yeah, that's pretty gross. It was just a little floater. <laughs> no, it was definitely... A, a little nug. Definitely a wet one. <laughs> Bowie, don't you ever do that. Don't embarrass mommy and daddy. <laughs> So, breakfast, review, give it a rating Al, out of... A... 8.3. 8.3 is pretty solid. So mine was the Avo Toast, pretty stock standard. It wasn't what it said on the menu, and I did ask for no feta and the feta, but they are new, and it was busy, so... I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, and I will try it again yeah. another time. We'll dabble. And see, and then give a review, because based on that, not so good. Coffee was delicious though. So, now our one of our friends is running a marathon this morning because the GC marathon got cancelled oh. because of COVID. So he's been training and he's just gonna do it anyway. So we're gonna go watch him finish because we're just nearby, which would be really cool. Dada, come on, show us how you walk. <laughs> you can do it. Whoa. Yeah, you, cheeky boy. Oh, you got a friend. <laughs> Good job, so. <laughs> Why are you asleep? Good. 
<laughs> you haven't been sleepy in the car, did you? It's a bit early for your nap. Oh, look how tired he looks. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? Hello, Odie. Hello. <laughs> well, she's a wild doggy. Woohoo. Hey, Odie. Can I get some personal space? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? Yummy. This is Bowie's current obsession. It's very nice snackies. Yeah. Huh? You want more? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. More? Between these and blueberries. Yeah. Or you eat. Yummies. <laughs> so we also just got the news that we are going into a snap four, was it four day? A four day lockdown because there's six new cases in Brisbane. Um, so that probably sounds pretty crazy if you're from overseas because we go into lockdowns over that. But it's a snap four day lockdown and hopefully it works because that's what we've been kind of doing for the last year and a bit and it seems to work. So We'll see. Anyway, so that kind of changes our weekend, I guess. But you know what? The Olympics are on, so I really don't actually mind. It's a good excuse to stay inside and watch it and not feel guilty about missing out on like a beautiful weekend outside. So yeah, from 4 p.m. today. Although I did want to go out for dinner tonight, so I guess that won't happen. But anyway, so while we're sitting down and chatting, may as well update you guys on Bowie's sleep. So we, about five days ago, we changed Bowie's nap schedule and he dropped down to one nap because he's almost 30 months. So now he's just having one big nap from 11 a.m. and going to bed at 6 p.m. instead of like 6.30. And I think it's working. The first couple of days, it, we had to like really struggle to get a two hour plus nap. Um, but now it seems to be getting a bit better. And then overnight, it went pretty crappy for a couple of nights um, because, while well, he might have been teething, but he was also, I guess, adjusting to his new nap schedule. And from his first birthday, we have cut out overnight feed. So I still feed him before bed and first thing in the morning, and we cut out that overnight feed. And pretty much since then, we had a bit of a rough... Actually, no, it wasn't even that bad. We thought it was going to be rough, but it wasn't too rough. But basically, since then... <laughs> Over the last like three weeks, his sleep has gotten so much better. Like we've had a few nights where he's slept through until like 5 a.m. or like three to 5 a.m. That's my little sleep update. Currently one big nap in the day and sleeping pretty well overnight. Feel like a thousand times better for it too. And I'm sure he does. Alex does. And we're all just a bit happier, except right now because he's tired and ready for his nap. Uh. Ooh. 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 Odie and Bowie. Do, 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 do. Hello, Papa. Oh, what's your nap? Bowie, we're having chippies in the park. Oh, which one's mine? Vegan cheese. That's me. <gasps> Made with love. Yum. It's vegan cheeseburger with extra salad. Chippies first. Mm. <laughs> Be hot. Good job. A little bit warm in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. My daddy's chips. My chips, huh? Oh, oh. giving to mummy. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> How's your chippies? How many chips you got? Four chips. So, a delicious little late lunch. We go into lockdown in half an hour. Tick tock. So. Perfect time to get home and watch some Olympics. No, I don't know what we're going to do. Definitely watch Olympics. We can still exercise and stuff though. So we will 
still take oat for a walk I think and I guess we'll be cooking dinner or getting takeaway which we probably would have done anyway doesn't really change too much for us when you have a baby Show us your cheekies. Look, they're really red. Someone's teething. Oh, Papa. Bowie. Really concentrating. Whoa. Well done. Shoes on again. Ready? New shoes as well. Wow, this is an athlete getting ready for his Olympic race. Peak performance. Help him out, help him out. Thanks, buddy. That's the coach Bowie. So, I don't know if anyone else gets like super inspired by the Olympics, but we are so inspired. We do. We're in our joggers and we're taking Oat for a walk. Well, taking us all for a walk because Oat hasn't been walked today. Oh. And Alex and I want to run one kilometer, like as fast as we can individually and see what time we can get. Cause we're like so inspired by all the running slash all the Olympics. Uh -huh. So we're going to go run uh -huh. and probably going to be so slow. But anyway, I'm just so inspired right now. What about you? Are you inspired? You've turned the TV off. <laughs> all right, let's go. What'd you get? 336. 336, that's great. What'd you do? What'd I do? 348. So. Howling. Three, 348. 336. 336. Huge headwind going no. that way. Like, Massive headwind. It's usually like blowing you backwards. <laughs> but on the way back, it's quite nice. You get like the like a lung burn and it feels like your like lungs are bleeding. And then I get like pain behind my teeth and they like ache. Oh. That wind was too much. And last night in the 10,000 meter, the 10K, they were doing like two minute 46 splits. Two minutes 46 for 10 Ks. And we just like gave it our best. And I got 348. What? It's crazy. I could not even run one of those K's that fast if I tried. So Bowie's dinner is porridge with um, lots of hemp seeds for some protein. And then I have added soy milk and grated up some carrot into it for some veggies with some koi on top. He's having one of these like fussy-ish weeks where he's not really eating much that we give him. So seems to be loving his oats and he hasn't had them today. So that's what he's having for dinner. What? <laughs> See? Loves it. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you could tell in my video today, but I had needling done on my skin this week. So it's really quite at that flaky point right now. So I had a shower with Bowie just before and I'm gonna do the aftercare. This is the products that they said to use for a couple of days. I've gotta avoid this serum because it can irritate my skin at the moment, but it's been a couple of days. So I might start incorporating some of my other more hydrating ones. But yeah, I just wanted to come up and do this before cooking dinner because it's feeling it's feeling really quite flaky and dry. Got a vitamin C serum. And I would usually keep this vitamin C serum away from this one away from this one but since I'm not using it at the moment 
I'm going to use this at night. I'm not sure if I can use this one yet. This is the Pigment Plus one that I use. So I'm going to avoid that. But I'm going to use some Hyaluronic Acid. This is the one I use. I love needling. But damn, does it hurt. It's really not relaxing, the process. But I do love the results. I get it done every like one to two months. It's me done. <laughs> So while I'm cooking dinner, we prepped some things for Bowie. This is like a cheesy pasta and I've snuck in some mashed chickpeas, corn and grated cauliflower. And it's like a cheesy sauce, but he's never had it. So he may hate it. We'll see. And I chopped up the pasta and then I put some spices on chickpeas, mashed them and baked them. So we'll see if he eats those. And then Alex has prepped some veggies, Ooh, some roast veg for snacks for him but again we'll see if he eats them <laughs> and then finally we're just going to steam these veggies to have in the fridge for his lunch tomorrow our night we're up to the 100 meter heats it's the males the women's just did their semis and then we get the final later tonight got our ice creams and yeah this will be literally our night tonight and i'm not sad about it good morning sunshine good morning good morning crazy boy what you doing bowie what you doing oh oh hey sit back Put the TV on. No, you did it. He's good. Oh, he's straight onto the racing. How do you do that every time? How do you get on the racing? <laughs> so Alex is going to pick us up takeaway coffees. So we can't go to coffee shops at the moment. And Bowie slept so good last night, didn't you? He stirred a few times around 10, 11 p.m. But self-settled himself in like seconds. And then he slept through till 5 a.m. 5, 10 a.m., which is really good for him. And then Alex just usually brings him either into spare room or into our bed. So we brought him in for a snuggle and he kind of sleeps and wriggles for like an hour before he has his morning milk feed. Say good morning, everyone. See, Bowie? See yourself there? Say good morning. Good morning. So the other thing that's on today is Alex's mum, Bowie's Nin Nin, is coming to look after... Bowie for a couple of hours this morning so Alex and I can go for a nice big run together. I'm not sure if I mentioned it on here but I mentioned it on Instagram. We are signing up to do the GC50. It's called the GC50 but we're doing the 25k running event um, at the end of November. So we kind of just started our training trying to go for three runs a week and then trying to do one of them a little bit longer so today we'll be running i think nine or ten kilometers yeah just going to work on progressively getting those distances a little bit longer oh no he's discovered how to open the cupboard <laughs> what have you done Oh, we need to start baby proofing this place. Toddler proofing, I should say. More? I got my coffee. Mm. Yumptious. Don't throw it. Here. Show me how you scoop. Good boy! Yeah. Ready? Being, you're very smart. Yeah. Ta? No? Well, why would you throw it? Good boy! Thrives off the praise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Mom scared you. You sat. You sat for me because Dad opened the thing on my toe when I screamed. <laughs> no, I just wanted to fill the steam in the coffee. <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> oh, look at that steam with the banana peel to the side <laughs> and the dirty baby bar. Oh wow, mm. it's all happening in here. All right, we are heading out for our run now. I've got my running belt on where I keep my phone. And I always wear my watch. And my headphones are dead. So that was, hey, Odie, sit. Naughty girl. And I've left Odie some treats because she's probably going to try to eat everything. All right, we're going, Odie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Well, I'm in the mountains now, so am I taking Run finished. We look. I stopped my. I stopped it, and I don't know. I feel like my watch has lost that run from Nike Run app, and I'm really irritated. You know, Ellie, these things really piss These off. little things. I love like I'm all about numbers. So she like, has to run to like I 11k have to... on the dot. Can't run to, like 5:59 and just be sweet. She has to run past the house. Just a bit of a, a bit of a numbers person, and like with pace, I like chase a pace like an average pace anyway i feel like i lost that run i'm really bummed because i want to see my splits but i can't find it but we ran nine k's splits were what 457 in the end which is really good um and yeah felt pretty good even though we're running back into wind head, head wind. so now we're going to go home and put our legs in our pool because it's pretty much an ice bath in winter and yeah see what's on for us today lots of olympics <laughs> olympics obviously quite inspired by the olympics also i'm 28 so some of these runners are like 34 and have kids it's not too late for me <laughs> alex said it's not humanely possible for me to ever but you don't know if you don't try how's that Odie? you want to get in you want to get in you want to get in oh it's cold Odie. i'm literally like aching also, while I'm out here, I'll show you what we had done to our house this week. We decked this whole area because it was like a little triangle patch of grass. But it was honestly so dead and gross. It just, yeah, it wasn't very user friendly. So we've upgraded it to this decking. It's going to be the same color as this, the old deck. It just has to gray off. Um, but yeah, it just gives us some extra space where Bowie can play and run around and soak an oat. And it's just a lot cleaner. Hey, oat. Just loving it and we planted our olive if you guys remember our olive um, it was inside the house and then it died and then we rejuvenated it outside and now we planted it here so it looks quite short because it's planted all the way down there like in the ground below the deck but we're really hoping that it'll just like flourish and grow really big out here oh you found one of your treats i left out here hello <laughs> did you have fun we had a Look, best you put your sneakers mm. on he put them on all by himself. Oh, did you? <laughs> You're so tricky. <laughs> oh. Hey, say hello. Missed you. Mummy and Daddy were running. So we're gonna, well, Bowie and I are gonna go grab some takeaway brekkie. So I think we're going to, yeah, drive, get some avo toast from the old faithful Sunday spot. Get outside before a day of Mass Olympics. All right, my fashion accessory. Oh, sit on my lap. Mm. 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 All right, jangles. For the aircon. Let's just eat one piece and then we'll go home. Holy moly, that's hot. Oof, oof, oof. Chilling? Are we chilling? We never chill, do we? We chill when we sleep. What are you doing? Sit down. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Oh, you're doing a poo, aren't you? Yeah, put that back. Good boy. All right. 
I'm gonna put you in the back and go. Let's see if Bowie likes the food that I prepped for him, or we prepped for him last night. He's got all the other things, some um, veggies. He loves corn. Corn's a crowd pleaser for everyone involved. That's why there's corn in this. Carrot! Gary! You love carrot. Mm -hmm. Ready? Scoopy? 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 Oh, oh. oh no! Ta? Ta? Oh! <laughs> Scoopy? Ready? <gasps> Yay! throw it, do it like pass it back to mum like this, see? And then she'll load it back up. And it's like efficient way of eating. Ready? Ready? Scooping. Scooping. Really important stuff. I'm trying to design my new watch on Apple. Because we're in lockdown, the stores are closed. But I really want to buy a new one. They have so many colours, so I can't decide. And then on my watch I have this Otterbox case that goes around it, like a bumper stopper that stops it getting scratched. And they don't have the color that I have, so I'm trying to pick a little color combination in my head. Really important stuff. I've had my watch since I lived in Bali, so a lot of years. It's gotten a lot of good use out of it. But yeah, I'm excited to upgrade it and have cellular on this one so I can run without my phone and just my watch. It'll be good. My decision process currently is at this one, Kumquat, with the pink bumper for something fun. Ginger is kind of cool too, with the pink, or with the blue. Decisions, decisions. Also, we've got some like really good Olympic watching going on right now. Swimming finals, 50 meter freestyle. And our Australian just got another medal, another gold medal. So good, I love the Olympics. This is like one of my fave takeaway dishes of all time. And so this is Rold's vegan lemongrass chicken bowl. It's so yum. Lots of salad and rice. And the sauce is so yum. Oh my little schnibble schnibble. What were you into, Odie? Oh, she found some snacks. <laughs> What are you doing to Odie? <laughs> Odie wants to come down from there and you're stealing her spot. Take my hand. What? What are you giving me? Huh? What? <laughs> what are you telling me? In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. He was in that little cat as we went. He was a fit, fat caterpillar. <laughs> He was a beautiful butterfly. How could we turn to Where's Bowie? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go do some grocery shopping for the week and then I'll come back and show you a little haul of what we got. So let's do a quick grocery haul. It wasn't a very exciting shop because I actually didn't plan what I needed to get. Didn't write anything down, so just guessed as I went. And I haven't planned out any meals for this week because we get Miley Spoon for three nights. Um, and also the health food store closed, so I didn't get to get any fun things from there. But I'll quickly go through some of these things. These are basically Bowie's staple diet, ATM. Berries. Also didn't get to the farmer's market this weekend. And in lockdown, so there was no Sunday market. Actually, maybe the markets are still on. I don't know. Avocados, of course. Tomatoes. Zucchini, I'm gonna try grate it into some of Bowie's meals. Chilies. Jalapenos, limes, bananas, oranges. Boo boo, do you want some berries? All right, what's next? These bags, we, I know they're not the greatest thing, but whenever you order online Coles, it doesn't seem to save our oh. preference, so they always give us these bags pre-packed. Anyway, we always reuse them, so that's, I guess, okay. Vegan cheese, 
I am not like married to any brand, so I kind of just like trying new things. So these are the milks I got. I want to try some new ones. This one's new too, Chobani. They're doing oat milk. Interesting. Razors, Alex's hairiness. Wanted to try these, I've got a bunch of these. Oh, this is Coco and Lucas. Sorry, Alex and I were having a discussion in the supermarket and I answered myself. But I got some frozen meals to try. They're all vegan uh, meals. Handy to have in the freezer. Lasagna, bolognese, butter chicken. And then this is random, but it's like a baby version. Anyway, I wanted to have that, I don't know, in case one night we have nothing to cook for him and we need a meal. Chives. These are like half dried herbs and I've got the parsley version. So it's what's the basil one because I actually quite like it because I've got a packet and it lasted me ages. Corn, broccoli, lemon, more lemon, zucchini, carrots. You guys know the drill. We're having tacos tonight. So I got some cabbage. Tofu is always handy to have in the fridge. Dessert because yum. Beans, tamari. Cheese for Bowie. Breadcrumbs for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna experiment with something fun on our tacos. I've been seeing this in the supermarket. I just have two cans of it because I already bought some last night. So yeah, gonna experiment with making some like banana blossom fish. So I've got breadcrumbs. Popcorn, 100 meter men's finals on tonight. We need popcorn. Rice cakes because yum, Bowie loves them and hummus to have with it. Some flatbread. I'm gonna try and make some like toasted flatbread with cheese and veggies for Bowie. See if he likes it. Tortillas for tonight. It's actually like interesting because we're in like, lockdown the supermarkets always get a little bit hectic. And yeah, there was quite a few things that were empty. There was also a Sunday afternoon as well, but yeah, it was a little bit empty. More dessert, rice pudding, yum. Alex randomly felt like some muesli in a Cupboard, so he got some music and that's it all done and honestly we'll probably go back to the shops two or three times during the week because we always run out of fresh produce and I kind of like buying it fresher rather than you know like berries don't last that long so yeah that is my grocery haul and sorry quickly the total cost was 250 which is pretty good <laughs> that thing is for like stress and anxiety I'm pretty sure as you can see it's working Smoothie. Ready? Have a sip. More? Hello. Yeah. Oi. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> What's Dad doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so silly. Okay, so Bobby's gone to bed. And I didn't bother vlogging his dinner because, well, I think just putting the camera in front of him all weekend while he eats his meals probably like distracts him a bit too much. Um, but anyway, he ate pretty well and he's going to bed. We're just gonna cook some dinner and of course watch the Olympics because that's all we've done all weekend. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here and I'll see you guys in next week's video.